is going on guys? Uh, welcome to this vlog series. Basically gonna be my bulk series, the bulk. I wanna go over what I'm doing in terms of bulking. I know a lot of you probably watching this, uh, a lot of kids who I coach wanna learn how to bulk. And you'll see that a lot of it has to do with eating. Um, some of it will come from lifting, you know, lifting different rep schemes, you know, a little more heavier. Um, not always, sometimes we'll go more reps, but uh, it's a lot about the eating and the calorie consumption. So I wanted to kind of show as much as I can of that in this vlog series. It helps you bulk on your journey. First things first, got Pete's coffee. What type of coffee, are you a Starbucks person? You're Pete's, leave it in the comments. All right, another common question I get is, how do you know how many calories to eat? And so I'm gonna go over that right now. How I do it is I start with the BMR, base metabolic rate. I go to mbptraining.com, go to the BMR calculator, and let's see if I could screen record this actually. All right, so, so go to mbptraining.com, uh, go to the BMR calculator here. From here, I put in my age, put in my height, put in my weight. Calculate, I work out about five times a week, three or four right here. So basically I burn 2,800, let's just go 30, uh, cause I always try to round up on these, um, especially when I'm bulking so I can always eat a little bit more. 2,830 calories. So 2,830 calories is what I would burn, 2,830, without doing anything much more than working out and eating. So I would have to eat that to maintain. So if I'm trying to bulk, what I want to do is add 3,500 calories at the end of my week in a surplus if I'm trying to gain a pound a week. Because 3,500 calories is one pound. If I'm trying to gain two pounds a week, at 7,000 calories at the end of the week or plus 1,000 each day. So I'm not going to go that strict. 15 weeks from now is, when is 15 weeks from now? January 22nd. So how many weeks is January 1st? So 12 weeks until January 1st. I mean, it's 12, 188, let's go 205. 205 minus 188. This is how I do math, I just do Siri, I just tell them numbers. So 17, so 17 pounds in 12 weeks. 17 divided by 12. So 1.4, 1 1.4166 1 times 3,500. So 4,958 by the end of the week. 4,958 divided by seven. So I have to be at a 708 surplus each day to gain 1.4 pounds a week to get to 205 by January 1st. That's how I do this. So we'll go my first number, 2,830 plus 708. So my daily caloric goal in order to gain 1.4 pounds a week in order to gain Rise to 205 by January 1st is 3,538 calories a day. So then I go into my MBP training app and I put that on my goal so I'm able to see that. So still recording here, go to my clients. I'm just gonna go to myself, open that up. I'm gonna go to nutrition goals, goals. I'm gonna change my nutrition goals, so I'm gonna change this. Edit new goals, so calories, full macros. This is gonna be 35, 38, 35, 38. And then we adjust, right? If I'm eating this and I'm gaining a little too much fat too quickly, we cut it down a little bit. Calories per day variance, I'm gonna go 10% because I'm very strict, I know these numbers. And uh, we're gonna go by percentage, that's fine. Let's go by grams. 260 on the Protein, I'm gonna be 205, so I wanna be 3,538. All right, so you got 225 of protein, you got 400 grams of carbs, and we got 115 grams of fat. I'm gonna track that in app, save, boom. So those are my new numbers. My goal is to be 205, 205 pounds, under 10% body fat. Let's go under 12% body, let's go under 11% body fat, because that's really, under 11% body fat by January 1st, 2024. All right, so that's that. We are, update progress, 0%. 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 
sleep too. Those are my goals. If I'm gonna add uh, body weight goals, me 205. There it goes. Body weight goal added. Now let's work with coach to hit your 205 pounds weight goal. So it puts it right in the app right there. Um, again, if you guys want to do the same program, you guys can join along with me. We're going to see how, how well we do with the, with the goals. I'm 188 today. It is uh, October 9th and our goal is at 205 by January 1st. So we got 12 weeks. We're going to crush these uh, nutrition goals. We're going to crush these workout goals. We're going to crush these weight goals. So we're all rising and we're all gaining weight in this winter. Uh, just finished my in and out. Amazing. Double double cheeseburger with fries with extra spread and chilies on top. Double double cheeseburger with fries, extra spread, chilies on top. What's your order? Um, and in that. But in this clip, short clip, in like a minute or two, I want to talk about tracking because I want to give you certain information that I think will help you the most that I take into account that I take into account when I'm bulking. And one thing is tracking. One thing I always ask kids when they're saying I want to get bigger, I ask how many calories you're eating. I asked that a couple times today. And some of the kids were like, a lot. A lot. Hella. It's not an actual number. You need a number for when you track your calories. I know how it sounds. I know it's annoying, I know it's time consuming, but in order to know exactly how much you need to eat, you need to know how much you are currently eating, and that way you can say, all right, I need this extra thousand, I need an extra 500, I need an extra 708, which I did earlier in my uh, calculations. But you need to know exactly the number amount, not just a lot or hella, you need to know the exact amount. And I'm gonna show you guys how I will track this after I eat. Always love me some in and out. Go ahead and go over how many calories that was. So we're gonna go record what we just had for in and out. So we're gonna go to add food, add meal. This is in the MBP training app. I'll go ahead and take a picture of it. I'm using my other phone because I'm recording on that one. So I'm gonna use my old phone. But basically we had, I'm just gonna go in and out. And I'll say everything that pretty much has French fries. I got one of those. I got a double, double with onion. And my fries were with spread. So I'll add a spread sauce packet. And I think the chilies aren't any calories. And I had a Dr. Pepper. So a soda drink here. But in and out, Dr. Pepper. This is probably 12 ounces with the ice. 400 milliliters. So I'll go next. So he's added up one French fry, one double double, and a dark pepper with some spread. It is 1,210 calories. I saved that in there, and now it tells me how much protein I need, how much carbs I need left, how much fat I need left. Um, out of all this, it'll tell me exactly what my breakdown for the week. So it's really good to know exactly what you're eating. Know the numbers because it'll be way easier to then gain or lose weight based off of how much you're eating now and how much you need to eat to get to your goal. So I highly recommend you track your food. If you have multi-ingredient foods, just track it each ingredient. You know, go from the highest calories down to the lowest. And guys, I think that is it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the bulk rise to 205 episode one. If you did, leave a comment down below so I know who's watching, say what's up, I'll say what's up back. And remember, be certain in yourself, be consistent in your actions, because consistency is key. See you next video. These fries, burger, Dr. Pepper. Now if I had animal fries, I had that option on there, but if I did it, if it let's just say it just had Let's say I wanted to just put my burger slices on there, then just add it up. That's confusing, so never mind.